Unfortunately, many people run into problems trying to get their race timer and computer to talk to each other. All the race timers on the market communicate over a serial port. However, computers these days do not come with built-in serial ports. So you need to use a USB to serial adapter to connect the timer to the computer. While there are some USB timers on the market, all they have done is essentially built a USB to serial adapter into the timer. With any USB device, there are drivers that must be installed. The drivers create a virtual serial port for the computer to communicate with. In this video, we will do the first step of troubleshooting communications, which is to make sure those USB drivers are installed properly. This video pertains only to Microsoft Windows users. We have a similar video for our Mac OS users. So what does a serial port look like? The port on the timer will usually look like the female serial connector on the left. If your computer has a built-in serial port, it will look like this male connector on the right. However, it is pretty rare these days to find a computer with a built-in serial port. This is also what the serial end of a USB to serial adapter will look like. Some people confuse the VGA port on their computer as a serial port, like the one shown on the bottom, but that type of port is only for video. If you don't have a built-in serial port on your computer, which likely you don't, and don't have a USB timer, you must use a USB to serial adapter. One of these is shown here on the left. As those can be really short, you'll also likely need to use a serial cable to give you the flexibility to put the computer where you want it to be. One is shown here on the right. The USB to serial adapter connects to a USB port on the computer. You then connect a serial cable between the adapter and the timer. With a USB timer, it would connect directly to a USB port on the computer. First, with any USB device, there are drivers that must be installed. If you're fortunate, when you plug in the USB device to your computer, your operating system will automatically install the needed drivers for you. This is called plug and play. However, this assumes that your adapter is actually compatible with that version of your operating system. Plug and play does require that you have an internet connection so your operating system can go out and check for the drivers out there on the World Wide Web. If the drivers do not auto install, you'll need to manually install suitable drivers. So how can you confirm that the drivers install properly? With Microsoft Windows, you can go to the Device Manager screen in the control panel. The easiest way to get there is to use the Windows search box. Type in the words Device Manager and it should find that screen for you. You can also do a right mouse click over the Windows icon and select Device Manager. Now make sure that you have your adapter or USB timer plugged into the USB port directly on your computer. Do not connect to a USB hub. In the Device Manager, you should see a Ports, COM, and LPT category listed. If so, go ahead and expand it. You should see a COM port listed there with a description and a COM number. That description will be different depending on what brand of communications chip is inside your adapter or USB timer. Do a right mouse click over the port and select Properties. If it indicates that this device is working properly, then the drivers are installed and you do not need to watch the rest of this video. You can proceed to the next troubleshooting video where we cover some simple tests that will help you isolate where the communications problems lies. Look for the link to that next video down in the description for this video. For the rest of you, let's soldier on. If you do have a port listed under Ports, Common LPT, but the port's icon has a yellow triangle with an exclamation point on it, then there is a problem with the drivers. Do a right mouse click over the port and select Properties. You'll see the pop-up screen on the right. The device status will indicate an error. You can do a web search on that error message to see if there is a fix for that issue. For those that do not see any ports listed under the category Ports Common LPT, you may see an entry under Other Devices. It will have a yellow triangle and an exclamation point on the icon. Do a right mouse click over it and select Properties. You'll see the pop-up screen on the right. 
The error message in the device status box may indicate that the drivers are not installed. If you're not sure that is your USB to serial adapter or USB timer or not, you can unplug it from your computer. If that other device's entry disappears off the screen, then you have verified that it is your USB to serial adapter or USB timer that is having the problem. So what can you do if the drivers are not working properly or are not installed at all? First, try to identify the manufacturer of the adapter. Check the adapter itself and the packaging the adapter came in to see if the manufacturer's name is indicated. If you can identify the manufacturer, go to the manufacturer's website and hopefully they will have the latest drivers for your operating system and version that you can download. If you cannot identify the manufacturer, do you know where the adapter was purchased? Oftentimes the adapter was purchased along with the timing system. You can go to the timer manufacturer's website for the drivers. For a USB timer, you would just go to the manufacturer's website. If your adapter was purchased from our Grand Prix Software Central website, then we have the latest drivers on the downloads page for Grand Prix Race Manager. You can also check all of your track gear. USB to serial adapters and USB timers should have come with a mini CD or a regular size CD that has the drivers on it. If you have that CD, you can try installing the drivers from it. However, if you have an adapter or USB timer that is several years old, those drivers may not work with newer versions of your operating system. If you're unable to find the drivers, then all hope is not lost. There's one last thing that you can try. Many of the USB to serial adapters and some of the USB timers have a communications chip inside of them that are made by one of two companies, Prolific or FTDI. You can try going to the Prolific and FTDI websites, getting their latest drivers, and try installing them. Make sure to check out the notes on those websites that may apply to your version of Windows. Here's the web addresses that you can try. These links will also be down in the description for this video. If all else fails to get your adapter working with your computer, then the adapter just may not be compatible. In that case, you'll need to purchase a different USB to serial adapter. We do offer USB to serial adapters on our website if you need a new one. So we covered how to verify that you have the drivers installed for your USB to serial adapter or USB timer on a Windows computer. If you're able to get the drivers successfully installed but still have a communications issue, then proceed to our next video on communications troubleshooting where we cover some tests that you can perform to determine where your communications problem lies. Check down in the description for this video for the link to the next troubleshooting video.